katika watu waliomuua Imam Hussein ni watu waliokuwa katika jeshi la babake Imam Ali alipopigana na Maawiya katika vita vya Sifin vita vya Najran vita vya Jamal so Hussein is the opposite of Yasid how i wish that Hussein was a Christian natoa kwa ajili ya imam wetu Abu Abdullah Hussein nafanya hivi kwa sababu yake naam sababu ya mapenzi ya imam Hussein na kuweza kusaidiana na wale wote wanaopenda imam Hussein tumejitolea tuje tutoe damu tusaidie walio waislamu na wasio waislamu i'm happy for these celebrations today we are here to celebrate a hero both in faith and in human social life The Umayyad leaders were not very righteous. And somebody has said that Yasid himself was not a strong believer. I think that is something that um, Sheikh has shared with us. He was not a strong believer. And because of that, we see that um, a lot of corruption or bad things were happening at this time. This is a crystal. Mtu ambaye anasimamia ukweli katika jamii huyo tunamuunga mkono. Awe Muislamu, awe Mkristo, yule ambaye atapigania haki sa mwanadamu, sa wanadamu. Na haya ndio mambo ambayo Hussein alikuwa anasimamia. These were the things that Hussein was fighting for. Are we together? Now in Christianity we can compare Hussein probably to Nabi Isa. Now Christians believe that Nabi Isa came and sacrificed his life for the sake of humanity. And that is the equivalent we have for Hussein. People who are ready to sacrifice their life to die to defend not just religion but the rights of people in the society Hussein is a model is an example for good values of justice charity and peace now if he wanted to fight he would have organized an army against Yasid but he did, he did not do that he did not engage in any battle a good muslim is not one that engages in war but one that defends the cause of justice against perpetrators of evil in the society yasid for me and for us stands for evil one that did not stand anybody who opposed him one that did not or was not even ready to negotiate are we together so hussein is the opposite of yasid how i wish that hussein was a christian whether you are a muslim or a christian and you allow injustices you allow governments that rule with impunity governments that shed blood you are not a good person hussein was a good person because he stood for impunity and this calls for all of us both christians and muslims that people are worshipers of the world and religion is nothing but something just on the tip of their tongues so they use religion to protect their interest when things turn around now you have to be tested really to be given a test in your claims that you are a religious person that you are a follower of this prophet or this religion or that uh 
ideology. Now you turn away from that religion. Why? Because now you are asking that question. If I take this religion, which is right, if I take this stand, which is right, I will suffer. And if I take in the other hand, I will enjoy it. I have all the luxury. But I've said here that Imam Hussein avoided life of luxury. That is the system. From Imam Hussein, his brother Imam Hassan, his father Imam Ali, up to the Prophet, they never involve themselves in luxury. Why is this statement? Kwamba watu ni watumwa wa ulimwengu, dini iko juu ya ndimi zao, wanaitumia dini kutetea misimamo yao, lakini inapokuja mtihani, dini huwa imeshazunguka. Wanaiwacha dini yani wafuasi wa dini wanakuwa ni wachache kwa lugha nyingine wafuasi wa haki wanakuwa ni wachache katika watu walo muua imam hussein ni watu walokuwa katika jeshi la babake imam ali alipopigana na maawia katika vita vya sifin vita vya najran vita vya jamal lakini ilipokuja kwa Imam Hussein mmoja ambaye Imam Hussein mwenyewe alimwendea akamuuliza akamwambia ndugu yangu wewe una dhambi nyingi sana je ungetaka Mwenyezi Mungu akusamehe akupe maghfira yule bwana akamwambia vipi akamwambia ungana na mimi simama na mimi tupigane dhidi ya dhulma na utakufa shahidi jibu lake alimwambia Hussein roho yangu mpaka sasa haitaki kufa haijachoka na dunia roho yangu mpaka sasa haijachoka na dunia madhara ya kuabudu dunia yang na kutia ndani ya giza paka moyo unakuwa na giza huioni tena haki ana hakika huyu ni mjukuu wa mtume ana hakika huyu apigania haki ana hakika kuna kufa ana hakika kuna hisabu lakini alikhiari kuchukua what is temporary kuchukua kitu ambacho muda wake ni mfupi ndio kauli hii ya Imam Hussein alayhi salam hayo ndio sema ni machache ya muhimu somo lake Imam Hussein alayhi salam kila mmoja wetu ajitengeneze nafsi yake kwanza pa kuanzia si msikitini si kanisani si bunge ni ndani ya moyo wako takasa moyo wako isafishe moyo wako uwe ni mtu utakapojitakasa ukasafishika wewe hapana budi ila utamvutia mwingine mwenye fikra kama zako my dear brothers and sisters sayyidina hussein the struggle that he started and the journey of fighting oppression is still here with us to date several of those who came later we have seen in history mahatma gandhi citing the struggle of sayyidina hussein nelson mandela equating himself to the struggle of Sayyidina Hussein meaning that the history 
of Sayyidina Hussein is something that to date sote lasma itufungue macho katika kupambana na udhalimu kaua wa kinyama bila ya huruma kifoja ke usene ne hozo ne kubwa kaua wa kinyama bila ya huruma Labeika ya Hussein, Labeika ya Hussein, Labeika ya Hussein, Hussein. Mkuu upo kwa sababu inasaidia at least tunapata ile moto ya Imam Hussein. Bila lipo vile tunajua vile ali watu wake waliumia katika ile kujimo maji nini. Sasa ika katika donation at least na donate ndo isaidie wale ambao wanaitaji damu sasa ndio tunatoa at least hiyo saidie ichangie katika pia vile watu wa mama Hussein vile walimwaga damu sasa tasi katika ile kufutoa inachangia hapo hivyo kwangu mimi siku hii ni muhimu kwa ajili au kwa sababu ni 40 ya imamu Hussein Abdullah Hussein kwa hivyo natoa kwa ajili ya imamu yetu Abdullah Hussein. Nafanya hivi kwa sababu yake. Naam. Kwa sababu ya mapenzi ya Imam Hussein na kuweza kusaidiana na wale wote wanaompenda Imam Hussein, tumejitolea tuje tutoe damu tusaidie walio waislamu na wasio waislamu. Even leo tumekuja kwa sababu ya 40 na tume, tume tunafurahia kupata fursa hii na wakati wa kuja kuwakilisha 40 na Imam Hussein tumefurahi na Mwenyezi Mungu atujalie inshallah mwaka ujao na miaka mingine pia tuweze kuwakilisha inshallah Imam Hussein mimi ni Mkristo lakini kwa jinsi ambavyo nimesikia alikuwa ni mtu ambaye hakika aliweza kutetea jamii yake akitaka kuona ikiishi kwa kufaidiana kwa kusamini utu wa wengine na ni hakika ni kiongozi ambaye alikuwa akitetea jamii yake kiasi hata cha kuweza kupoteza maisha yake to know what she or she is is well because in Nigeria we can we are not getting that opportunity even the magazines Uh, stops the medias what they are showing is quite different with what we are seeing here so here you are very lucky you people you have access to interact intermingle with different religion different sects of religion so alhamdulillah i learn a lot i learn a lot i'm happy for these celebrations today we are here to celebrate a hero both in faith and in uh, human social life imam hussein who gave his life and committed himself in everything that he may fight for humanity and uh, he was ready to give out his life for humankind for justice to prevail through these teachings today i learned that uh, i should not go back in the path of the truth despite the challenges the difficulties and even when death is facing me i should stand for what i believe is truth fight for it and through that then many people will be encouraged and uh, will be motivated to walk in the correct path